Hello, I'm Seth Johnson with Land the House. This is Adventure 22. So the question was asked, will the hydraulic ram pump work underwater? And the answer simply is yes it will, but I want to see how efficient it is underwater. So here's my setup. Got uh, maybe two and a half, three foot drop over here. And then the ram pump's going to be set down right here. So what I'd like to do is operate the pump here um, and see um, delivery pipe goes up to this barn or gazebo, whatever it is, and um, see how well it works at this point out of the water, put it in the water and see how well it works, and then real deep and see if there's any decrease in um, water coming out of the delivery pipe. So let's get started. Because this rock slab is so flat, I'm having to use the siphoning effect. So water is going to be pumped from up here over the slab and then to the pump. Well, I was filming the underwater ram pump video and a large gust of wind showed up. So I had an unfortunate accident with the GoPro. Looks like it's uh, taking a swim. May have broken my tripod too. <laughs> there's the GoPro and there's my tripod. So I'm going to retrieve it and see what I can do with it. Stuff happens. GoPro is uh, very wet because I had the open back on it, sadly. Uh, and then my tripod also broke, but it was just like a $10 Walmart special, so I'm not too upset about that. But this I'll probably let sit in some rice for a while, and hopefully it'll continue to work. This will be a nice test to see how strong the GoPro really is. Okay, the pump is out of the water and fully open. And you can see the flow we're getting here. Now it's time to test with the pump in the water. So now I'm going to take the pump and place it in the water carefully. So you can see uh, it's still running under the water. It's terribly inefficient with this pipe because it's uh, flex tubing. You can see it's just jumping all over. But it's still working. And I can't really see the output. I'm getting creative now that my GoPro camera fell off of there. <laughs> I've used some string to hold the pump here under the water and you can see it is operating. It's just kind of slow and uh, of course again it's inefficient because of this flex tube. So let's go check out the delivery pipe. Alright here is the output of the pump two feet underwater. A little bit more flow it looks like and I would credit that to the extra two feet of head. So it is working underwater and you can't hear the clicking noise as loud as when it's um, above ground. So there you have it. Hydraulic ram pump working underwater. Pretty much noiseless and um, producing about the same results as above the water. And over here we have a GoPro drying out after it made this tumble. Thank you for watching this adventure of Land the House. So the ram pump works underwater just fine and the output seems to be good. So that answers that question. Thank you for asking it, and I'll see you next time. Bye.
it's too bright for this. Thank you for watching this adventure of Land the House. I hope you... Thank you for watching this. What a taxing video. So I went to remove the pump and start packing up for the day and my knife fell in the pond here. So <laughs> I'm gonna dredge with this rake and see if I can get it out of there. I hope you enjoy this video. Well luckily the bottom of the pond is a concrete slab so I was actually able to find the knife. <laughs> So, after uh, cutting my finger open, dropping the GoPro off the cliff, and the knife going into the pond, it's time to go home. <laughs> I'll see you next time.